Time to get ready for some irrigation here on these fairways. So today we're gonna to turn over the fairways again with the power rake just here. Do this one and there's always one that's gonna go up the back as well. Clear out all these rocks, getting this ready basically to start putting some trenches in and doing irrigation next week if everything goes according to plan. Gonna also get some stuff done on the green and we're gonna go up to the Kaikou as well and get that prepped for reno season in the next couple of weeks because the weather here is just amazing. Right, let's rip into it. So if you're new to the channel or haven't been following along, this is an area here that I've been prepping for the last couple of months. We sprayed it out with some glyphosate, all the grass that was in here, and we've turned it over with the power rake, and we've also done a follow-up spray with some glyphosate as well to really get rid of all the grass and the weeds that are in here. And it's done a really good job. There's no green stuff really around anymore. If there is, it's basically dead from the spray I did two weeks ago. So we're gonna turn it over one more time, as I mentioned, get rid of some rocks. Um, that's the sort of size I'll be getting rid of. This sort of size, I'm honestly not too worried about and that's not gonna to cause too much of a problem. You just wanna get the big suckers that are obviously gonna cause problems when you start aerating in future and causing problems with dry spots as well. But main thing is clean the area, get it level, which the power rack's gonna do for us, fluff it up and make nice loose soil. If you don't want to use your existing soil, like it's really, really clay, you could bring in some topsoil or even some sand if you really want to, especially with warm season grasses, they love growing in sand. My green's actually built completely on sand, so you definitely can grow grass in sand. You just gotta make sure you mend it with the proper nutrients to get it going as well. But let's turn it over now, and let's just start picking some rocks out for today. The back section luckily has got no rocks at all. It's just this section here. that thing does a really good job. I'm not sure if you can see, but I ended up just not cutting through the middle this time like I did last time. I just went around and round and round, and it's actually pushed the rocks all down to the bottom half, which is awesome, because I can quickly pick them up now, so I'm so glad I did this first before I picked the rocks up and did it again, because it's pushed all the rocks down the bottom end here. It's gonna be super quick for me to pick them up, as opposed to jumping all over the place. So we'll pick the rocks up now, um, I'm not gonna worry about turning over the other fairway until later in the day, cause it's still a little bit shady over there, which is why I'm putting Zoysia over there. Um, cause of the big gum trees up the back. But yeah, let's pick these rocks up, get rid of them, get it done. That's all cleaned up, a lot less rocks than I thought and I'm so glad I pushed it to that edge. Don't have to do any rock cleanup as I said on the other fairway, because there was none there. But there's a, there's a few still, have a look. You can see there's still a few rocks there. Yeah, still quite a few rocks actually. <laughs> yeah, but so good to clean those up. If you are doing this at home, again, make sure you do clean up rocks in the area you've got. Obviously no one's, not everyone's gonna be able to use something like a power rake at home. A rotary hoe would be fine to be honest, or you could scratch up the surface a bit and put down, as I said, some topsoil or some sand or something on top. I usually, I do recommend people aim for about 100 mil in thickness. If you can't go that much, make it enough that, you know, it can be turned over and at least, at least 70 mil, if you can. Um, just so that the, when you're putting turf down or your seed, it's able to establish into some softer soil. 
or sand and get its roots down there nicely. So this morning I'm just going to mow this area just here and down the bottom here because we're digging in some trenches. So I just want to make sure it's all clean. I haven't mowed in about three weeks. It's winter. Stuff's really not growing, but when I tidy it up, so when we dig in trenches, it's just not just grass everywhere and it's messy. Do that now. We might get down and mow the green. I'll have a look at the kai as well. I'm considering holding off putting any granular fertilizer because I've talked to you guys about putting granular fertilizer out to kick it before reno until we get some rain, which is supposed to be rain at the start of next week. So just so I don't have to water it because we are coming into a dry season. So I wouldn't mind just using the rain that we get to water the product in. Anyway, let's give this area a mo. Mate, this looks insane. This is probably nearly the best this area has looked. No frost burn on the tips of this. It's looking lush as, like super, super lush. I am stoked with how this looks and we're not even in spring yet. It's soil temps are just starting to warm up. So it's gonna be an awesome season. This thing is going to be looking schmick. I'm keen to get this rolled, putting super quick, but just look how tight the surface is and just the color of it, bruz. Oh, seriously, it's like a next level. <sighs> excites me, man, it really excites me. So I'm gonna start doing some regular top dressing on this area now, cause it is warm enough. So next week we'll start our dusting. We'll start to continuously dust this. I'm getting low on my sand that's up there, so I need to order some more very, very soon. But man, just, I don't know, something about it today. I think it's just the warmer soil temps have really kicked this thing into gear. And it just looks tidy as, now the ryegrass hasn't had a fertilize on it for ages and it's still looking really really good need to get some fertilizer out here soon but just look at those stripes popping at the moment Whew. and even this area just here just looks insane those stripes i don't think i've ever seen the stripes that thick before and we're cutting at three mil like they're just popping i did tidy up my edges a little bit today as well i did a bit more of a, a cut into the side a little bit more because now we are starting to get some growth and just look how tight those edges are as well a little bit of a scalp just there because i think there's a little bit of rye grass in that area just there but it looks cool man it looks so good these i have filled in still over winter as well they're still filling in i need to top them up with a bit more sand because the ducks have been getting into it and taking some of it out but overall, very happy with this, considering we're still technically in winter. Back up with the Kai today. So we are actually getting some growth on the Kai Goes to show you that a scalp this early was not a bad idea. Heaps of green shoots coming up through the guts here. And that's all Kai pushing through as well, as you can see. Heaps of green shoots through here. I wouldn't expect it to repair in a week, considering this area, but lots of little like pingers coming up all over the place. And especially up where this concrete is, it's just that little bit greener as well and it's growing that bit more because it is a little bit warmer there so as i said i'm probably going to hold off putting out granular fert until we get that rain next week i was going to do it today but why not just wait for the rain let it kick in then 
and I'm probably still looking at doing my reno towards the end of August, if not the start of September. Ooh, so good, so good to see. I mean, it's just nice to have warmer soil temps and warmer weather on what's today, the 11th, 11th of August? Yeah, 11th. I mean, it'll probably go a little bit cold again, no doubt, but still not a bad thing. I'm also considering getting out my barricade, my pre-merchant and my celebrant too before I do my reno. Something, because the soil temps are warming up and I'm seeing a lot of blossoms everywhere at the moment, good sign that weeds will start germinating very, very soon, especially if we get some rain. Things are gonna start popping up, so it's honestly probably time to start getting my pre-merchant out as well, but it does look nasty, but we are seeing lots of little green shoots in here, which goes to show you that the, the soil temps are warm enough. We've let a bit more air down in there for stuff to actually start growing. It's cool. So I'll be on to fairways next week, so I said the irrigation next week. You may not see the video next week, it depends on how far I get with installing the irrigation, because I want to show you guys all of that in one video, but it's definitely going to be happening the next week. Everything's prepped and planned, obviously all the materials here to start digging into it. And we've got a relatively dry week towards the end of the week. Start of the week we're not, but towards the end of the week we do, which will be fine. Enough for us to start ripping in and putting some trenches in the ground and also laying pipe and probably pulling some rock out while we're digging trenches as well. I have no doubt there's gonna be rock down in there. Thanks guys so much for watching. Appreciate yous. Like this video if you guys enjoyed it or learned something new. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next bit.